yesterday I let the uh, the siphoning on the tub happen uh, after I ended my day. I just let it keep siphoning out, and it did pretty good. Uh, I'd say there's about an inch of water there on the bottom. What I didn't catch during the siphoning process, well, actually I think I left to go to CrossFit anyways, uh, the water level was probably still higher than the, the seat level there. And I've got water up here, and I've got water about five, six inches right there. So, <clears throat> you know, had I been here and caught that, I could have maybe, you know, pushed that all into the center and let it siphon most of that out. So I'm gonna try and siphon that and siphon that. This is probably a little too shallow. I'm just gonna have to push that into the center there. Um, and then I've got a shop vac and I'll just suck the rest of it out. So if you've ever did any siphon work, um, you'll understand that that's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. Um, that's about a two foot drop right there. So I gotta put the hose in, bring it over the two foot mark, and then, you know, go to the other end of the hose and start sucking. So I got to draw with the power of my lungs up that two foot mark, you know, water. And then once it gets over the edge, it starts to come back down. It'll, it'll, it'll take, you know, gravity will do the rest. But that's what I'm going to attempt to do here. So uh, wish me luck and I'll check back in in a second. All right. I thought I'd show you my siphon technique. It's, um... You know, this is no magic, right? It's just a matter of, you know, how do you do it? So I got to draw that water up about two feet. So I'm going to um, I'm gonna get my first draw of the water using lung power. And then if I let air back into the system, you know, if I let air get back into this hole here, it's going to, the water is just going to rush back into the hot tub and all that, uh, that first draw will be gone. So I use my lungs in the first draw. And then I'm just going to keep maintain the suction uh, with my mouth, breathe through my nose, and then I'm just going to use my tongue uh, the rest of the way uh, just to keep drawing the water over that hump. And, and uh, hopefully, um, you know, I'll be able to get, uh, get that siphon going. The problem here is that there's already a bunch of water in the hose, and that water is going to, you know, start washing into my mouth. So I've got the battle of clearing my mouth out, yet at the same time not letting that water draw back into the hot tub. So let's give it a shot. All right, so it's proving really difficult, but I decided <clears throat> midstream here, if I pinch the hose, um, maybe I can keep the water from, uh, you know, back or going back into the tub. All right, so I'm going to have to modulate my mouth work and the pinch here. So let's give it another shot. I, think I got it. Oh, I thought I might have had it. So now I just lost all that effort. All right, try it again. All right, let's see if I can get you in a camera angle of what I'm trying to do here. Well, this is becoming a lot harder and a lot more work than I had anticipated. Sure feels like I've drawn more than two feet of water up that hose 
and given the small diameter, but I think um, at this point, I'm just gonna have to use my shop vac and draw the rest out uh, with the shop vac. It is what it is, I gave it the old college try. Thought I'd show you real quick. So I manually drew, you know, sucked out, right? I'm trying to get that siphon to go. Maybe, you know, I mean, that, that linear, linear run looks like about, about, about an inch, but height wise, it's maybe just under a half inch of water I took. Um, I would have thought, you know, that volume of water would have filled this hose to this point, you know, right about here. And then once it gets over the hump, it would have, it would have drawn out, um, you know, by gravity, but guess not. So like I said, time to get the shop vac. All right. So for those not familiar with shop vacs and how they work, it's, uh, it's not all that, uh, all that crazy. Um, they're pretty modular. So, uh, the hose typically goes there or hose does go there. Um, and when I'm not using it for, for simple storage, I just keep the hose inside. So I'm gonna pull this out and you just slide that in. And then you just tighten down the, the threaded clamp as so uh, it's a two hand job and I have one hand holding the camera. There we go. All right, so I just clamp that down. Now, since I'm gonna be working with water, I'm sucking up water, I don't need the HEPA filter. So you just untwist that cap, pull the filter off, carefully set it aside because it could be really dusty. Let's find out how dusty it might be. Oh, not too bad, I must've cleaned it recently. All right, and then just for safekeeping, I'm just gonna put that back on. There, and all right, so then you just take this top, all right, flip it back over, get it positioned on properly. All right, as such, now I got these little locking pieces here, which is nice. Um, all right, I already, already got it plugged in. And uh, I mean, that's about it, you know? So um, I'm just gonna turn it on. And uh, well, I've got some attachments here because this uh, job is pretty far away from me, right? So um, I'm just gonna disconnect this. <laughs> Again, a two hand job. There we go, so that's disconnected. And I'm just gonna attach, uh, I'm just gonna attach my extension tube onto there. And I've got two extension tubes, so I'm gonna go ahead and attach the next one. And then I'm just gonna stat attach my, uh, this little guy here. Um, it's just gonna allow, allow me to uh, suck up water a little more finely than if I just use the big fat end like that. All right, so that's about it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and I'm just gonna start drawing that water. It, it won't fill the whole shop back up, which is good. So I'll be able to just get in there, do it all in one run. And then once it's filled up, shut the shop back off, wheel it over and dump the water. Okay, so make sure these are nice and tight. I don't want them falling off. And get my hose properly lined it up. I don't want my hose to kink, so I make sure that it's nice and straight. And here we go. Like this, get my water out, and then put back the next one. So, there we go. I can feel it getting real heavy. But 
back and start to struggle. So we just help it out a little bit. Okay, so that's it. I'm just gonna undo this hose. It just makes moving the uh, uh, makes moving the vacuum cleaner where it needs to be a little easier. I'm gonna set it aside over here. Oops. Nice strong shop vac product. Didn't hurt it one bit. What's nice about this is the, uh, the motor comes off of the unit itself. And when it's off the unit, you can attach the tubes that I had earlier onto this and it becomes a blower. A really strong blower. So it's a real nice shop vac. I got it some years ago. I don't even think they make the model anymore. pounds of water if it's three gallons at eight pounds a gallon water's been dumped out i just watered some plants that's all i did so i'm just gonna let the shop vac sit here in the sun dry out um just let this sit out in the sun let it dry out a little bit take that off you know set that there this this uh this filter even comes off um if i needed it to it's it's pretty porous it'll dry out just fine sitting here like that not a big deal so I'm just gonna lean it over tip this on its side let it drain down a little bit so you know that'll just sit for the rest of the day or whatever I'll just let it dry out easy peasy put all the parts together I right, got that got my hoses over here my extension set that aside and if you always feel like a little fun, you can just, uh, you know, play the horns. All right, that was pathetic. Not sure that'll make the cut. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so water vinegar coming up next. I'm just going to wipe it out. And then back to that. Deconstruction of the shed. Mixed me up. A uh, pint of water, pint of vinegar. I don't know if I'm gonna need more, but I'm thinking uh, probably not because this is uh, the tub is so so clean already. Anyways, I uh, just found myself a, a grungy old sponge that we were not gonna use for anything like washing dishes. It's got the it's got the abrasive side, but it's soft abrasive, so it shouldn't do any damage. It's you know it's not that super green meanie style. All right, so here we go. I'm just gonna uh, get in there and start scrubbing away. It should take me about 10 minutes would be my guess. It's got a lot of square footage, but uh, you know, get her done. Scrub work is done. As you can see, it definitely paid off. That brown water, I'm assuming is just like the, the algae or whatever you know that grows um, and you don't really see it in the tub given the color of the tub and that I, I did while scrubbing I did notice a couple spots it like looked a little rusty type, type of color probably the algae right and it just rubbed right up rubbed right off uh, the vinegar and water solution did a really good job um, 10 minutes I think on the tops it took me to to just rub down the whole thing rubbing. So next I'm going to take a hose. I got a hose bib right here um, inside the, the patio area, ne right next to the uh, hot tub. So I'm just going to spray it around the edges, let that dirty water rinse all the way down, and then get the shop vac back out and suck it all out. All right, so a trick I learned while I was vacuuming here 
is to not submerse the head completely in water, but just take a little bit at a time. That way the hose doesn't get too filled up and the shop vac can't handle all that weight. If I just take a little bit at a time, it just continuously keeps uh, drawing it up and it's, it's a lot faster, a lot less effort. Tub. All the water's been, all the uh, dirty water's been taken out. Put the hose back in. Let's fill her up. There we go.